Okay, so I just want to talk to you a little bit about when you're setting up a story, how you go about the structure of the story. First of all, you need to make sure that you've got an introduction or setting. In that setting or introduction, you are explaining all of the components of who is in the story and where it is. So you're talking about the characters, you're describing what they look like, how big they are, their personalities, you're describing the place that they are in. Um, now we, uh, I was reading Lily Kay's work the other day and she was talking about a story where there were cheetahs, a family of cheetahs, and there was a group of hyenas who were after those cheetahs. They were in Africa. And Lily was talking about how they lived in a cave. What does that cave look like? Is it a big cave? Is it a small cave? Is there a room off to one side in the cave? What is covering the entrance to the cave? How do they get in and out of the cave? You need to explain in the first section of the story the main activity. And this is where the hyenas are looking for the cubs, for the cheetahs that you've already described. Once you have explained the main parts of the story, you haven't told the story yet. Now you go into paragraphs. Paragraphs are a section of um, sentences that describe one main aspect. For instance, the first section might be the hyenas are tracking the cubs. So the family of cheetahs, they might want to go to the waterhole. So they start on their journey. The cubs are quite little. Maybe they are struggling to keep up. Then the hyenas might be running around rocks to hide. So you might want to explain what the hyenas are doing, what the cubs are doing, what the mum and dad are doing. Then you might get to the next part of the story where you've got the big main problem. In this story, in Lily's story, her big main problem was that the cubs needed to go and drink at the waterhole. So the cubs reached the waterhole. There might be a lot of activity at the waterhole. It might be quite a big waterhole. There might be all sorts of animals there drinking. There might be giraffes, lions, springboks, zebra. There could even be some elephants there. And what are the cubs doing? They might be running in and out of the different animals' feet. Obviously not the lions, of course, because they would try and get the cubs, wouldn't they? But they might be having a great time in the water and you could describe that. And maybe the mum and dad cheetah are really struggling to look after the baby cubs really well. The hyenas are getting, to, they're getting there and they might strike. So that might be what the main problem is. So all of a sudden in your story, the hyenas come out of nowhere. They were hiding behind this rock. There was one behind a tree over here. There was another one behind this um, clump of bush. And they all come out at once. Animals scatter all over the place. The hyenas strike the baby cubs. They might get one. The other two might run away and hide and try and get back to their mother. Then you go into the solution or the resolution of the story. How do the cubs get back to their cave safely? That's the next part of the story. And that is the final um, part of the story and this could be really exciting. Maybe the um, mother of the cubs and the father start tracking the hyenas and they start attacking the hyenas back so that the cubs can get back safely. I don't know. Maybe they find they've got a secret passage through the, um, the wilderness back to the cave. That's what you need to decide and that's what makes the story really interesting because we want to make sure that they get back safely.